Number 4. While two forces act on it, a particle is to move at the constant velocity of 3 meters per second in the i direction minus 4 meters per second in the j direction. One of the forces is F1 equals to 2 newtons in the i direction plus minus 6 newtons in the j direction. What is the other force? We know that the velocity is constant, so if the velocity is constant, the acceleration should be zero. And we know from, from Newton's second law that the sum of the forces is equal to mass times acceleration. So if the acceleration is zero, we know that the sum of the forces should be zero as well. So this should be zero. And we have only two forces, so F1 plus F2 is equal to zero. That's what we have to do in this exercise over here. So we know that our F1 is equal to 2 newtons in the i direction minus 6 newtons in the j direction. So F1 plus F2, let's say that F, let's first write F2 as a generic vector. So let's say the F2 is equal to F2x in the i direction plus F2y in the j direction. So let's sum F1 and F2. So F1 plus F2 is equal to 2 plus F2x in the i direction plus minus 6 plus F2y in the j direction and we know that this is zero. So this sum over here should be zero and this sum over here should be zero as well. So we know that 2 plus f2x is equal to zero. So f2x is equal to minus 2 uh, newtons. And from this equation over here we know that minus 6 plus f2y is equal to zero. So f2 y is equal to 6 newtons. So we can just write F2 as a vector. So F2 would be equal to minus 2 in the i direction plus 6 in the j direction. And don't forget to include the unit which is newtons.